Hello, Placentia community. This is Eric Holmgren, your ambassador at large. And today we are chatting with Peggy Ricks of Delish Doggy Droolers. How are you doing today, Peggy? I'm doing great. I've been seeing you on Zoom a lot. Now it's a chance <laughs> yeah. to see you face Yay, to face. Finally, it's finally. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> so Peggy, tell us a little bit about Delish Doggy Droolers and how you got started. Well, it's kind of a funny business to say that that's what you're doing when, when you know, who, who makes dog food and dog treats? But when you're an, an animal lover like I am, it was just a natural thing for me to want to start doing. I've always had dogs. I've always loved them to bits. And as I started doing research and realizing what icky ingredients are in the commercial products, I thought, you know, I'm just gonna see what I can find. And I started making them for my animals and it just blossomed and became something else. Okay, so you started making the dog food for yourself Right. For your kid, uh, right? Your My kids. Pets. Well, for a lot <laughs> of people, it can be a threat sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but if it's good enough, oh. good. And then, so you just had then people ask you for yes. It. Okay. I well, I started making the treats and seeing how much my own dogs loved it. And I used to go to the dog park regularly and I would take a treat with me here and there. You're not supposed to take food there. So I tried to be very legal, but I'd kind of sneak one into a favorite dog and they would just devour them. And so then I started thinking, hmm, maybe this could be something that I could monetize a little okay. bit and share with other people. There you go. So how long have you been doing this as a business? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah, okay. almost three. Okay, very yeah, good. So that's kind of exciting. Is this your first business? No, no. I have been what's called an image and color consultant since the mid 80s. <laughs> and, and I've been doing that obviously for a long, long time okay. and very satisfying, but I wanted to have a shift and do something. And I mean, when you're working in the woman's world of color and clothes and fashion and that kind of thing, and now you're suddenly doing dog food, it's quite a shift. It is a little bit. <laughs> but it's been so much fun. Well, very good, very yeah, good. Yeah. So what is a, a problem or a situation that you've had that's been a challenge and something well, for you to overcome? Well, fortunately, it became a real challenge for me, but it was something that I was able to just kind of sit back, take a breath and work through it. And it has become a victory. Okay. And I'm thrilled about being able to say that it was a victory. And it was, I my, my precious, at the time, 10-year-old lab had a seizure mm. and took him to the vet. And long story short, the vet said he has a brain tumor. Mm. And I said, what do I do? And he says, you just want to keep him comfortable. Well, that's kind of something you don't want to hear. Right. Those words. So a friend of mine said, I know of a dog nutritionist. Would you like to speak with her? I can introduce you. Absolutely. So talked to Brett, this nutritionist and she wanted to know, what are you feeding him? Mm -hmm. And I proudly said, I make my own food. And at the time it was a different recipe from what I'm doing today, but I was so proud of it because it was very, very clean, right. had three ingredients. And I was telling her, this is what I do. And she was just silent on the phone. Just, and I thought, well, she probably fell off her chair in <laughs> amazement of this brilliant woman she's talking to. Right. And in actuality, she said, that's it? That's all you're giving him? And she said, you're not giving him omega-3s. You're not giving him antioxidants. You're not giving him any, any organ meats. You're not giving him any vegetables. And what you're doing is okay, but it certainly isn't enough. And the sad part was I was already selling that dog food. Right. And so it was like, how do I be a businesswoman of integrity and not have the right ingredients now in the food? But the food that she wanted me to be making was purchasing a supplemental packet of, of nutrients uh -huh. for her, for, from her to put in my food. But that was a $50 package of nutrients. Right. Well, putting a $50 package of nutrients into my $20 tub of food kind of put me yeah. out of business right then and there. Right. But that's what I'm saying, being a woman of integrity, how do I continue selling this dog food that I was making knowing full well it didn't have all of those things that she now was... Now that she's mentioned. I don't, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that evening, I let myself be discouraged and I let myself go wah, wah, wah <laughs> internally. 
and say, you know, well, she just put me out of business, oh well. But I had all these people who were depending on me for the dog food. Right. So the next morning I was still going kind of wham, 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 and I looked at my notes and she said I didn't have any omega-3s. And so I decided to Google, what are omega-3s for a dog food? Mm -hmm. And they said, sardines. Ooh. What are uh, antioxidants for a dog food? Blueberries. Oh. What is organ meat? Turkey? No, it's a heart, kidney, and liver. Right. And there's a store down the street that carries dog food ingredients of heart, liver, and turkey. Right. So I was able to create what I needed in from her supplements in my own food and still be able to do it economically. Okay, very good. And I realized that the supplements that she was wanting to sell me probably were pennies on the dollar, but they came in a beautiful color package, and that's where the expense was going to be. Right. So I thought, okay, I can do this. And so I... And, I, and so I've been able to create the, <laughs> I'm doing this as I'm cooking, create this wonderful recipe for these dogs and still give, and giving them more of the, of the food value that they, they need to have. So right. rather than being just discouraged by someone, I was able to say, okay, I'll take that information. And the messages came in that I, of what I needed to do. And I was just grateful for Google for the first time. Well, that's good. <laughs> you know? It's but not that's, always that's, negative. Uh, yeah, I mean, but I, I think most of us in, in the business world, whether we're selling a product or offering a service, we get feedback from people. Right. And, and we could either try to ignore it mm -hmm. and just say, well, we know better. Right. Or we could say, well, what can we do to, to learn from yes. that experience? Yeah. What can right. we do to make our own uh, product better, right. our own service better? So right. it sounds like yeah. that was an awesome opportunity. It was a you. wonderful experience. It was something that it, it, it continued to give the self-confidence that one needs when you're right. doing your own business. Because like you say, you're going to constantly be getting bombarded with good things and maybe not so good things. And you just kind of weed through it. <laughs> well, very good. Well, Peggy, that was a great story well, and great you. business wisdom. Thank you. Uh, and I appreciate you sharing that with everybody. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our Placentia community before we wrap it up? Uh, just, I would, I'm always, always wanting to share this with, with friends and, and uh, anyone who is looking for uh, nutritious and healthy uh, dog food and dog treats that don't have any of those icky uh, preservatives or chemicals or that kind of thing. So um, I, I have my website and it's, it's on the chamber uh, information piece. And so I just would love to help out any way I can with any animal dog issues that you might be having. Right, and you're local, so you mm -hmm. deliver. Yeah, yeah. yeah I okay. deliver the dog food, deliver, okay. deliver the treats, whatever. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Well, yeah. very good. Well, Peggy, thanks for coming oh, in. My pleasure. And great to see you face to face. <laughs> Finally. Exactly. All right, and until our next episode, be well. <laughs> <laughs>